Hey, what's up? Welcome to Kids Cooking with Kyla. I'm Kyla. And a lot of you guys may think that carrot cake is really hard, but I'm going to show you how to make a really, really good carrot cake with a delicious cream cheese icing. So at the end, all your ingredients are going to be on the board, but so you don't really have to pay attention to the ingredients right now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to mix the flour with salt, the cinnamon, brown sugar, and regular white granulated sugar. And you don't really have to turn on the mixer for this. I'm just going to take my little spatula and mix it all together just till you see that it's all mixed up everywhere. Just like that. See, the flour should be almost like gray. And then now we're going to add one egg with two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And turn on our mixer and just mix it till they're all mixed together, not long at all. Oh, almost forgot. We need to put in one and a half cups of butter. Okay. Put butter in. these guys until they're in. Okay, now it's all mixed in and now we're adding the most important ingredients is we're doing three cups of carrots, one cup of chopped walnuts, and the secret ingredient to make your to make your carrot cake really moist and delicious is one cup of crushed pineapple that's drained. It really just adds moisture. Okay. Mix this all up. And now it can get a little bit tricky to mix because it's really thick. Carrot cake is always thick, so don't think that you missed out when you're going to take, I guess I'm not, my spatula is now missing. Oh, there it is, found it! Scooping all the stuff down off the sides. And this should be your end result. Okay, so now we're taking our pan that we buttered and floured, taking our same spatula and just putting it in. All in. Make sure you scrape down the sides. I don't want to miss any, any of this stuff. And if you want, you can add raisins. They're optional. I don't really like raisins. But if you were to, you add one cup of raisins. Spread it on so that it's all even, so that it cooks evenly. Okay, and now this is about to go in the oven at 350 degrees for like 45 minutes to an hour. Or until you can take a toothpick and stick it in the middle. And when you pull it out, no cake or anything comes out with it. Hey, Mommy, I'm ready to use the oven. No, nope. I'm here. Uh, oh, great. Mix it up. You want to mix it till it's all 
just smooth because when you have the icing on top, you don't want there to be bits of, bits of butter or bits of cream cheese in your icing. Okay, that's good. And I forgot to mention, there's a quarter cup of butter in here that's soft. Okay, and at the end, it should look like this. Okay, now when the cheesecake, now when our carrot cake is done, we're just gonna pull it out, let it sit for a couple minutes, and nice it. Okay, so now it's time to check the cake and see that it's, if it's done or not. Shane, can you come here? Okay, and now when you're checking the cake, you need to make sure that you prick it in the middle because the outsides cook first, and if you get the outside and it's cooked, the middle a lot of times is still cake batter. right in the middle and it needs there's still a little bit of greasy stuff on it and stuff so I'm gonna give it about another like five minutes but it's almost done Thanks. make sure when you're cooking that you always have your parents permission adult supervision and you have to clean up after yourself every time Okay, so I just checked the cake and it's done. So I'm going to take it out and put it on this little guy's pool. And it's going to need to pull for about 15 minutes before you ice it so that the icing just doesn't melt all over the place. Okay, so it's been cooling for about 15 minutes and I'm going to put the cream cheese icing on it. All of it. Okay, spread it out evenly. And if you are going to flip out the cake and ice it all over, you might want to double the recipe of the icing. Okay, that's really enough. Thank you. Can mommy have a bite? Is this, is this one for mama or one for Marie? Oh, it's for Marie. Mm. So apparently it's really good. Very good. Okay, according to Marina. Super easy. Really good. And really quick. Mm. Yeah.